Hey guys, what is up? Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate every single one of you. Today we are grabbing a brand new pair of Yeezys as you can probably tell from the title. But before we get into that, I need to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallets. Now, they sent me over a wallet that I've been using nonstop for the past week and I absolutely love it. I mean, let me grab my old wallet and compare it to this. This is my old wallet, it's pretty big, it's pretty chunky, it takes up a huge bulge in your pocket. Whereas the Ridge wallet is tiny, it's flat, it's sleek, and plus it looks cool. This one in particular is made out of carbon fiber, and best of all, they have a lifetime warranty on all of their products. They have wallets, they have phone cases, they have bags, they have a ton of different accessories. I would really recommend shopping their website and seeing what they have. The link is down in the description, or you can just visit ridge.com slash Tom, and if you guys Guys would like to buy anything use code Tom for 10% off your order and free worldwide shipping no matter where you live you are getting it for free it's seriously the best wallet I've ever used and it's a lifetime warranty I mean you buy this wallet you literally never have to buy a wallet again for the rest of your life that is amazing Okay, today is Saturday morning and the Yeezy 350 V2 Lundmark colorway comes out today. I know, another pair of Yeezy 350s. So, I may have slept in a little bit today. I was originally planning on waking up at around 4.30. I didn't wake up till 6.30 and it's around 10 to 7 right now and I still haven't got down to the store. It opens up at 11. I don't know what to expect. There's not a ton of resale on this pair of shoes. I may be able to grab a pair. I may not be able to grab a pair. I don't know what to expect in all honesty. I think it's a sick pair of Yeezys. We're gonna get down to livestock right now and see what's up. As always, make sure to smash that like button if you enjoy this video. I appreciate every single one of you. We need to get down there like right now because the store opens up in four hours and I left this way too late and fingers crossed we can still get a pair. Okay, so this is what the line situation looks like. The store's back there, and the line goes all the way down, and I'm like right around the corner there, back of the line, by the subway entrance. I'm guessing there's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 30, 25 people in front of me. Most Yeezys in the past, like GR Yeezy colorways, they've had 55. 60 pairs of them, so if it's anything similar, I should be good on this release. It is honestly the worst to sit here for possibly four hours and have a chance of not getting the shoe. I'd much rather sit here for six hours and know I'm getting the shoes than sit here for four hours and be wondering the entire time if they have enough pairs. Goodness, okay, so lots of you guys have told me that I should probably get a helmet while riding my boosted board, and I'm, I'm starting to believe you. I went to go get some breakfast really quick, just grab a donut and a drink, and on my way back, I don't know what happened, I just wasn't paying attention and I sort of zoned out, and next thing I know, I lost my balance and was cartwheeling head over heels off the boosted board. Thankfully, there was no cars around and I just like smashed up my elbow and my wrist and I scraped the body of the camera a little bit. Nothing too serious. I should probably, should probably just get a helmet. Anyway, the store opens up in like 45 minutes. I'm not dead. My limbs work. I think we're gonna get a pair. We're good. The store opened up like 40, 45 minutes ago exactly, and we are still standing in line. It is so hot out, it was cold this morning, so I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm about to die from heat exhaustion. I think I think we got the pair though. So I mean, it's all worth it. Heat exhaustion is definitely worth the Yeezys, I think, right? Like, maybe. Oh, 
right, we got the Yeezys. Uh, I didn't get my size, which sucks. And I stood in line for five hours to not get my size, which sucks. But we got the Yeezys, which doesn't suck. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I don't really remember what these look like. I know that it's so bad to say, but I don't remember what these look like. There's so many Yeezys coming out. The last ones we took a look at were the pink ones, which I also don't remember what those ones are called, but the Asia exclusive only one, the synths, the synths. They were called the synths, and I can't say synths properly. That is a hard word to say. These ones are called the Lundmarks. I ended up having to get a size 9 because they were out of size 12s and I didn't really want to get an 11. I feel like it's just easier to do something with a size 9 if I can't get my size. So, Yeezy 350 box, Boost. The colorway on these is Lundmark, Lundmark, and Lundmark, which I find very interesting because there's clearly like several shades of different colors on this shoe, but they just choose to ignore that on the color code and just put the, the colorway title, if you will. So I know these are sort of gray. I think there might be a little bit of yellow in here maybe, or a little bit of sesame color. I, I honestly don't remember what these look like. I didn't see them in the store when I bought them, so this is going to be an adventure for me and you. The box is a little bit beat up. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, these are pretty familiar. I remember seeing pictures of these and whatnot. There's just so many Yeezys, I can't even keep track of them. Just like, oh, Yeezys coming out today. Let's go pick it up and see what I think. I really do like these. This, you know what this reminds me of? This is like if the static Yeezys and the Sesame 350 V2s had a little baby and popped this out. This is sort of what it would look like. This is right in between the Sesames from last summer, which I wasn't a huge fan of, to be 100% honest. I sold my pair of those. And then mix it with the static 350s, which are some of my favorites, especially the 3M ones. Those are way too expensive. I'm never going to end up picking those up, but they are very... Very cool. I love the combination of it though. You have like some earth tones, you have some browns, especially on the bottom here. This is a very gum sort of sesame sort of tan color. And then the stripe is very burlap color. I, I know I'm using very strange words for all of this, but then you also do have the grays and the whites and the almost silver on the laces on the inside of the shoe. So I think it's a very cool color combination. This is one of my more favorite releases. Now obviously this was part of the, the three pack, the a regional pack of the Yeezys that released uh, the European and Asian ones released a couple of uh, a couple weeks ago pardon me and the Asian one was obviously the synth I can't remember what the European one was called and then this is the North American one I am a little bit salty we didn't get the synths in North America because I like those better than these but outside of those, this is probably my second favorite out of the group, and I'm glad they were relatively easy to get. Now, online, they sold out super quick. Like, the Yeezy hype is definitely back in full effect. It's not like it was last summer where it was like they were sitting on online for hours and hours and hours, or some of the restocks we had early this year with, like, the semi-frozen yellows where it was just super easy to get them, and you could get them days after release. They're selling out again. Like, they sold out super quick. There was, I guess, probably around 45 pairs of these at Livestock today judging from I was around 35th in line I counted and there was around 8 to 12 pairs left when I went into the store and got this so there was a decent amount of pairs but there was also like probably 95 people to maybe even 110 people in line so there's definitely demand for these people definitely wanted them they wanted to pick them up, whether that would be for resale or to wear. I'm guessing most people were probably just buying these to wear. I mean, the first 20 people in line for Yeezys in Winnipeg are always resellers. Like, I don't know where they come from. They just pop up out of nowhere. I never see any of those people at any sneaker thing ever in my life until there's a Yeezy release, and then they're there every single time. So the first 20 people in line are resellers, but besides that, there's not much resale value. Unless you're shipping these back to China, if you have a Connect in China, which you can make lots of money doing, you can really make a lot of money off these like if I were to sell these on StockX right now I would make $34 profit which I mean don't get me wrong $34 profit is $34 profit 
but it's not really worth the time and effort of sitting outside for four and a half hours to pick these up. Besides that though, I wanna hear what you guys think of it. I do think it's a cool colorway, but do you guys think it's a cool colorway? Since we are on a little bit of a hot streak with the likes, and for you guys watching till the end of the video, this is some very important information. Just because you guys have been killing it with the likes, and I really love you guys, and I wasn't able to get my size. A couple of videos ago, we did 2,500 likes to give away a pair of Jordan 1s. Then we did 3,000 likes to give away a pair of foam posits, and now we're getting crazy. I don't think we're going to hit this, but if we hit it, I am more than happy to give these away to you guys. If we can hit 10,000 likes on this video, I know that's such a ridiculous amount, we're probably not gonna hit it. I understand if we don't make that goal. But if we do, I'm giving these away to someone in the comment section. Comment as many times as you want, hit that like button, let people know in the comment section to hit that like button, 10,000 likes, and I'll give these away. That's all I have to say, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Love you from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.